What's up my fellow actors, Kurt Yu here from ActingCareerCenter.com. This video is going to be a little bit different because it's more of a tutorial style. I'm going to show you exactly what I do when I get a self-taped audition from beginning to end. Starting from getting that audition request email all the way until I upload the final finished self-taped audition. Alright, so before we get started, if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice every single week. Okay, so here's a typical self-tape request email that I would get from my agent. You'll see that I have a lot of this stuff blurred out, and the reason is that most audition information is confidential. So I can't show you everything here because this is a real audition that I got. So uh, at the top you see my name and then below that you see a date and a time and this is when the self-tape audition is due. And then below that you see that I'm auditioning for the role of the attorney. Attached to this email is my audition sides and the sides are the pages of the script that contain the scenes that I have to do for my audition. Now I've already printed out the sides right here. I prefer to print out a hard copy and work with paper sides. Some people like to just use their laptop or their phone or an iPad or something like that. But again, I prefer to print out a hard copy because I like to highlight and write in the margins and do all of that. And then the next step is I'm going to get to work. I'm going to start preparing for my audition. Now you might ask, how do you prepare for your audition? Well. I'm glad you asked. I use a 10-step audition preparation process that I've actually put together in a free PDF guide called my Audition Cheat Sheet. You can download that free cheat sheet by going to that link right up there. I've actually used this process and it's helped me book over 50 movies and television shows. So if you want to use it for your own auditions, you can download it by going to that link right there. So. This is the next step. I'm going to work on this audition for a few hours tonight and then maybe a few more hours tomorrow and then self-tape. So I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to stop this video and then we'll come back tomorrow. All right? Bam. All right. It is the next morning. I spent a lot of time working on my audition last night and I feel pretty good about it. Ready to tape it. Now, one thing I forgot to show you yesterday were the taping instructions. Now, these instructions come directly from the casting director. They tell you exactly how they want it shot and how they want it formatted and how to name the files and all of those things. Now, it's really important to pay attention to these instructions because every casting office is different and they're going to want different things. So, now that we know what the audition instructions are and we've prepared the audition, it's time to tape it. So let's head over to my audition room. Okay, here we are in my audition room. I'm going to give you a quick 360 tour right now and then I'm going to explain all the individual items that I'm using here in a second. So there you see my lights and my camera and then we're turning back around and this gray wall is my backdrop. So. The first thing I want to tell you is that everything that I'm going to mention from the camera to the lights, the microphone and all that, I actually have on a page on my website called Self Tape Tools. I'll put a link to it again right up here so that you can go to that page and see all the different things that I recommend for self taping without spending a whole lot of money. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is my back wall. This is just a painted wall. It's painted a slate gray. I painted this specifically this color for self taping because I love the contrast that it provides in my videos. All right. Now let's move on and turn it around to the front. So this is what I'm facing, right? So you see the camera behind me and you see my two softbox lights and then right down here, let me angle the camera down, is my microphone. So I have a, my microphone on a microphone stand pointed right up at me. I like to have an external microphone because I want it further away from the camera and closer to my face so that when I'm standing right here, the microphone is only about two feet away from my face. Now one other thing that I want you to notice with my lights here is that they are at slightly different angles and this is done on purpose because when I'm standing here facing the camera, I actually want the light coming from my right to be brighter on my face and the light coming from my left to be a little bit darker on my face. The reason for that is I want a little bit of shadow creating a little bit of drama, especially for my theatrical auditions. You might have seen my other video where I talk about cross lighting and this is kind of what I'm achieving here where I have more light coming from the front and then I actually have some light coming from the back which I'll show you here in a second. So this is the front. This is what I see when I am self-taping 
and uh, you see my camera, which is my Canon 80D. You don't have to have a professional camera for your self tapes. I happen to have one, but a lot of people use their phones or their iPads and they get amazing auditions from that. All right, let me turn back around and show you this last light here in the corner. I have this, and I'll just show this for a second because it's super bright. Um, I have this as my backlight, and when I'm self-taping, that light adds this little edge light along my face and on my hair and then also on my shoulder. It also helps to light the background a little bit as well. So this light, this light in particular, I actually bought for my photography. It costs like $200. You definitely don't need a light that expensive for a backlight. I've used just a normal floor lamp before right back here and it works just fine. Okay, so those are the lights and camera and microphone and the equipment that I use for my self tapes and just a regular painted wall for my backdrop. Now I'm ready to tape my audition. However, I am not dressed for the role of an attorney right now. So I gotta go put on my suit and tie and come back and get ready to tape, all right? All right, now that I look much more like a lawyer, we are ready to self-tape this audition. Now, I know what you're wondering. Hey, Kurt, where's your reader? Don't you have to have someone to say the opposite lines for you? Yes, you absolutely do need someone to say the opposite lines for your self-tapes. And I don't seem to have a reader here in the room. Well, what do I do? I've actually been using virtual readers for a long time now. I call someone up via Zoom or FaceTime and they just read for me virtually and it makes it super easy and convenient. So I have my iPad set up right over here on this table and we're about to call up my good friend and wonderful actress Charity Cervantes to be my reader. So let's do it. Hello. Hey, Cherry. How are you? Good. Guess what? What's what's that? I booked the movie that you helped me read for. Hey, Charity just booked the movie. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, that's great because we just uh, right before we connected, I was talking about using virtual readers for auditions and uh, how, how they can be super convenient and they work just as well as having a reader in the room. So the movie that you are about to work on, uh, you used a virtual reader and that reader was me. <laughs> um, all right. Best in the business. <laughs> all right, so uh, you guys might recognize Charity from a previous YouTube video that I did where I interviewed her about her role on Teenage Bounty Hunters. So thank you Charity for being here and for reading for me today. Um, I'm gonna stop bragging about myself as a reader right now and we're gonna get right to the audition. So one thing that I want to point out is that uh, the iPad is sitting right here on this table and it's gonna be about four feet away from my microphone and I'm gonna be about a foot and a half away from my mic and that's important because I wanna make sure that I am louder than the reader. You don't want your reader's voice to overpower you for your self-taped auditions. The other thing I wanna point out is that the iPad is sitting here on this table and I'm not using her as an eye line. Um, I only need Charity here for the, uh, the, for the self tape uh, for the audio. And I have a piece of tape on the wall. I don't know if you can see it. That little piece of tape on the wall next to the camera is for my eye line. All right, so I think that's all we need right now and we're gonna get right to it. So I'm gonna put you guys over here so you can see what's going on as we record this audition. I've muted the audio and fast forwarded it because I obviously can't play the audio for confidentiality purposes. But this is the first scene that we are recording. Okay, so we just did scene one. I actually have two scenes to do for this audition. So I'm gonna adjust the lighting and the camera and everything because I have to sit down for scene two. So I'm gonna do all of that and then we're gonna roll right into scene two. All right, here we go. So this is me just lowering the lights and lowering the camera and adjusting the microphone for my sitting position. Uh, now the next thing that you're gonna see is I actually put a white towel on the table in front of me. You see the white towel there. Now, what I use it for is because it's white, it helps reflect light and it bounces a little bit more light into my face, making the scene a little bit brighter. So this is us recording the second scene. Okay, we got both scenes recorded, and I think I did a pretty good job, I guess. What do you think? Yeah. Great. You did a great job. I just wanted to let everybody know, Kurt is a superstar, and when I self-tape, it 
takes way longer than what he just did. <laughs> well, that's because I'm showing it as a time lapse. They don't know how long that took. <laughs> Her auditions in two seconds. Exactly. You can too. All right, that's all we need from Charity today. Thank you so much, Charity, for reading with me, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye, let me know when you book it. Will do. Bye. Okay, now we're done with the scene portion of the audition, but we still do need to do the slate. And remember, in the taping instructions, they told us what to say and do for the slate. I have to do a full body shot and then say the things that they listed. So I'm gonna record the slate right now, and then we'll be 100% finished. And this is just a standard full body slate. All right, we're done in here and it's time to edit this audition. I've taken the memory card out of the camera. We're gonna head over to my computer and get this thing edited and uploaded. Okay, here we go. I got my memory card here. I'm gonna put it into my little card reader and put it into my laptop and we're gonna get to editing. Now we are on my computer. I've taken the files off of my memory card and copied them onto my computer and I've actually already loaded the three clips into my editing software. The software that I use is Vegas Movie Studio and I'm using a PC so if you are using a Mac I highly recommend iMovie. But if you are using a PC I use Vegas Movie Studio. It costs about forty to fifty dollars. There are many other options as well including free editing software options. If you go to my uh, self tape tools page on on the Acting Career Center website. I do show you some options for free editing software that you can use. But I've been using Vegas Movie Studio for a long time now. I really like it, so that's what I'm gonna to use today. Uh, what you see here are the three clips that we recorded. The first one is this uh, first scene where I was standing up, and the second one is the second scene where I was sitting down, and the third clip is my full body slate. Now, if you remember in the self-tape instructions, this particular audition, they wanted it all combined into one file and uploaded like that. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we need to do is trim the beginning and ends of the files to take away where I walked up to the camera to start recording and walked back to stop recording. So as you can see, the beginning of this clip is a blank screen. And where I really want it to start is when I actually start the audition. So here I'm looking into the frame. I've uh, muted the audio here again because uh, I can't have the audio playing um, for confidentiality reasons. So it looks like we're gonna start right here, uh, right about there, and all I do is pull this over and trim the beginning. So I'm gonna play this. Perfect. And then over here at the end, we're gonna play it all the way up until this last part right before I walk away. So there I walk away. So we're gonna back up a little bit and we're gonna cut that end part and trim that out. And all I did was, and every, uh, every editing software is different. So with Vegas Movie Studio, all I have to do is highlight the edge and then click and drag. So let's just play this up until the end. Get that last reaction in there and that's it, boom. And then we'll pause that. We'll go over to the second clip. I've just taken off my glasses. I was just checking uh, my framing really quick and I'm gonna take off my glasses and we're about to start. Actually, I forgot with this clip, I flubbed my lines a few times in the beginning. So we're gonna have to trim off a lot here. So let's uh, just drag. And I think right about here is when we wanna start. So let's take a look at that. That looks about right. And then I'm gonna pause it right here and just go to the end and trim it. I'll play the whole file later on, but um, I don't think we need to show the whole thing because it's just gonna be silent and it's gonna be kind of boring to see just a bunch of silence. And that is the end. So we trim that last part. And then the final thing we have to do is this full body slate. Uh, what I like to do is to crop out all of this stuff here on the side. So with this particular software, I just have to open my little crop window and you can see as I click and drag this crop window, it's cropping it over on the screen there. And I'm gonna crop the sides as well, just to make it a little bit cleaner. There we go. And that's all we need. And then we also want to Pause it right before I start talking. So I think that's a little bit too late. Right about there. Crop all of that. Or trim all of that.
Boom. And that's it. So now we've trimmed all three clips and we got to just combine them together. I just got to click and drag and put them together. And the last thing I want to do is because these are uh, combined clips, I just expanded the timeline here. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of a fade in and a fade out. You don't have to do this, but I think it makes it look a little cleaner if there is. So let's just play this and show you that fade in and fade out. I fade out and fade into that next scene. And then I'm going to do the same thing here at the end with the last or the second scene and the slate. So uh, add this fade out. And again, this is this particular software. Every software is a little bit different in how you add the fades. Fade out, fade into the slate. Boom. We're done. All right, so we got the two clips combined plus the slate. Actually, I just remembered we actually recorded these two scenes out of order. The, uh, the sitting scene should have been first. So we're going to do that now. Uh, I'm going to click and drag and just rearrange them. And that's all we need. And now we don't need the fade in in the beginning, but we do need it at the end. We need a fade in here. And that's it. So uh, now all we have to do is export it. So I've highlighted these three clips combined. I go to make movie and we are now exporting this movie. So I'm going to fast forward this until it's done. Okay and now we've finished exporting the file we can check out the final product. I'm not going to play this whole thing, obviously, because, again, it is muted, so you can see um, I'm here sitting for that first scene. I'm going to explain a couple of things here. The reason why I like to sit for the scenes where my character is sitting is because it does add a little bit of dimension as far as body language and all of that. It helps me get into character. Um, you also see me holding a pen. I also have a, a pad of paper on the table that I'm using. You don't see the table, you don't see the pad of paper, and you barely see the pen in this scene sometimes. The props that I'm using are not to show the person watching. They are there to help me believe in my character and believe in this scene. That's what I really love to do with self-tapes, is to really set this stage to help me believe in the situation. It helps me get into character, it helps me believe in the scene, and thus it creates a better audition in my opinion. So. This is that first scene. I'm going to fast forward a little bit to make sure we got the second scene transition looking good. I think this is the end. Boom. There we go. And it transitions nicely into the second scene. And then this second scene uh, ends right about here. And let's see if we transition nicely into our slate. Um, that final look at the other character and we do a nice little transition into the slate the full body slate you see the the sides are cropped out it looks really clean and that's it and I have this uh, my video player is just cycling to the beginning so all it did was it looped back to the beginning so everything looks great there um, now you see it's called untitled.mp4 the audition instructions did tell us how to label the files and it was first name dot last name dot role dot agency so I got to change that to first name dot last name dot role dot agency and that's it and now we are ready to upload this so we're gonna head over to actors access okay so this particular audition came through actors access through my agency so we are going to upload the video to actors access I just gotta go to browse and here we are in my audition folder and we double click on this and we are going to upload it directly to actors access okay now it's done uploading we're gonna hit next I like to always watch it one more time to make sure the uploaded video matches what was on my computer and we're just going to fast forward through and make sure everything looks good throughout the file. First scene looks good. Second scene looks good. Slate looks good. Perfect. And we're done. And all we have to do now is place the order and we are finished. And that's it. Boom. We are done. All right, that is it. That is how I self-tape an audition from beginning to end. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.